Hello everyone. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. <laughs> Happy Monday. Happy M Monday. Ooh. It's kind of a gloomy Monday. I think we're supposed to be getting some rain in a little while. Or at least there's a percentage today. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we're out this morning walking the doggies, giving them a little bit of exercise. Uh, we have uh, been walking the dogs now twice a day. And uh, getting them a little bit more exercise because the weather's been getting a little nicer and nicer. And, uh, they're excited, so we're excited. We are. Yeah, I got you. Odin boy. Odin, you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> oh, oh, Odin, I love you. Odin, I love you. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's losing his winter coat. Yeah, you can. Yeah, he's shedding pretty good. I'll brush him off later. I know a lot of you, you viewers and subscribers, like to go on walks and see the dogs going on walks. So we figured we'd take today's dreaming with drifters and go on a little walk and tell you about what's coming up next. Well, what did we do yesterday? Yesterday we went over to Junk the Gyms. Yep. We helped them put up a patio well shed. That was a. You know what? Well, you helped them. I was just cameraman. <laughs> well, you were an excellent cameraman. Might have passed a screw or two. <laughs> that was helpful though. Even though, I I know you don't really feel like it's helpful. Here, let's uh hold on one second, guys. Let's give an adjustment. There we go. I know you don't feel like it's very helpful, but 100% honest, recording and moving the camera and holding the camera and getting the angles and stuff like that, that's a big part of making a YouTube video. And it takes a long time to work on a project and film. <laughs> it does. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do, I do apologize uh, if the footage is a little shaky this morning. Odin's, Odin is a little extra hyper, so we're getting pulled around a little bit. Well, the cows came up to the fence this morning, and so they're a little yeah. amped up because of the visit. Yeah. <laughs> One cow was very interested in Halo. She came all the way up to the fence line where halo was and was just staring at him yeah. for like a good like 10 minutes just like just just watching him <laughs> it was like what you doing you trying to make friends you know <laughs> and the whole time halo was just barking halo is barking at him the whole the whole time and it was just so funny there you go Odin. <laughs> Odin. Odin, you, you see it Odin's trying to go right up to Uncle David's. <laughs> Odin's ready to roll. Are you ready? Are we just walking down the lane or are we going to... Yeah. Drifter's lane. Look. I had to take down my reef so that I can turn it into a spring reef. So we'll be working on that. Look how your arrow is still holding strong. I know. I do want to paint it. it. It was a really good idea that a lot of you gave me to paint this like a white or something. And I actually did get like this green neon paint i just haven't done it yet <laughs> yeah yeah but. yeah oh um well, Here, yeah thanks it's a uh, it's a lot easier to hold the camera while you're not holding on to odin yeah <laughs> um we were talking about uh going yesterday over to our friends Gary and Mary's with Junk the Gems. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a glutton for punishment because it is 
it's not difficult to put up those sheds, but it is time consuming and very tedious with 500 tiny screws. And I don't know, it's the third one I've put up and I go every time they need to be put up. We can't go over there today, see that tree? Daddy said we can't go over there. The tree's actually worse. We need to go ahead and bring that down. We're trying to go to the, the tree. We can do that today, baby. Let's do that today. Actually, that's a big thing coming up. Uncle David is going to be taking the tractor to Oklahoma soon to get worked on. And he needs the chains. I have one of the chains for Uber. Look at this tree. This tree is about to fall. And we do like to come over here in this area. The dogs like to come over here in this area. I think we're going to pull this tree down this morning. We are. It's already about to fall. You can see it. <laughs> Sounds like Odin's pulling Lissa somewhere. She doesn't want to go. My queen. Yeah. I'm going to get old Betsy. We're going to pull that tree down. Odin. Odin. This way. This way. <laughs> you want to say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? My beautiful boy. My beautiful boy. Odin boy. Say hi to everybody. I don't know if you guys know, but Odin has one brown eye and one blue eye. This way. Come on. So what I'll do is like lock the rope a little and tug it to one way, like to the left or the right. And I say this way. And he responds pretty good that, to that. Mm -hmm. He was trying to take me down to the creek. Yeah. He went right underneath the bob wire fence. And yeah. I'm like, no, no, not today. This way. Good boy, Odin. See? He listens to that. Don't drink the mud. I know ah, that's what you're ah, going to do. Ah, Odin. Come on, Odin boy. <laughs> I don't know why dogs do that. He'll, come on. Ew. He's got such a perfectly good water bowl. And he'll just be like, nah, I don't want to drink the mud. So, either later on today, or maybe tomorrow, but hopefully later on today, you guys will be seeing the newest Drifting Dreamers 5 video. That will be the work of us over there with our friends, Junk the Gems, and uh, putting up the patio well shed and I was trying to our get sponsorship. That. I was trying to get that out today, really. It's just we didn't get home until so late last night. Yeah. And we were tired when we did get home. Yeah, I was tired, guys. <laughs> there was no editing for me last night. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and walk Halo this way, Odin. Out the mud. Don't let him go in the mud, baby. Odin, come on, Odin. I'll be happy one day when we get to start clearing out some of this stuff. Heck yeah. On the property, you know. That new tool you got that you tried out yesterday should be pretty cool. Yeah. It should help out a lot. Yeah, yesterday we did try out a, sponsor impressed. a sponsorship tool. Uh, that tool was sent to us by Wild Badger. It's a, it's a 40 volt uh, electric tool. It's a, basically like a oh, weed. Oh, mud. It's a weed eater handle and it has different attachments. It has a string trimmer. It has a cutting blade uh edge trimmer uh not edge trimmer but like a cutting like a, a trimmer blade it also has uh like um what is it like the hedge trimmers and a pole saw yeah look at this uh this is another tree that that needs to come down this cedar is already coming out by the roots so i think we're going to be pulling that out today because it's right on the path anyway Anyway, the uh, the wild badger trimmer that worked out great yesterday. It, it was pretty awesome. Uh, it is a 40 volt system, but you have two 
20 volt batteries and I did a nice little area yesterday pretty impressed with it so Lissa is going to get Odin back stabilized get him where he needs to be she's gonna grab Halo we're gonna walk Halo down and back one time and then we're gonna grab old Betsy and pull this tree down I'm gonna put you guys on a pause real quick <laughs> okay guys get out of the water. we got Halo hooked up listen to Odin go crazy watch this Big good boys. Big good boys. We'll be right back, Odin. <laughs> we'll be right back, Odin. <laughs> this guy back here, man. <laughs> Ooh, Halo pull. Halo, don't pull. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So... What's up next for Lissa's crafty meditation? Um, there's two things. The first thing coming out is a meditation. And the second will be what I've been talking about, the stairs by the camper. All right. I got something planned for that. And then also a spring wreath. Okay. Hang on there. So, things are coming. It's all going to be worked on this week. Yeah. Now that we've gotten some other things out of the way. And I want to point out real fast that Odin is not making that noise because he's tied up. He's making that noise because we're walking without him. Yep. He always does that. He's done that ever since like a year after we had him. He just has... He, he has anxiety, I guess. And he is super spoiled. And he feels like he needs to go everywhere that we go. And if, if it's really his fault that all this is happening. Because if he would have been a good boy and not attacked Halo on the live stream, we, we would be walking together. Give it some time. Hopefully the getting them fixed will help calm yeah. that situation down, you know? Yeah. And like... A week. Yeah. Old Betsy is going to be getting some love again soon. I will be ordering uh, the valve cover gasket for uh, for old Betsy to try to address the oil leak right there. So what's left on the fence? So the fence. Lissa. Why have you not edited and no, posted no, no, the no. fence video? No, no. I <laughs> asked the question first, and you shall answer it. <laughs> the fence. When, guys? When? So, the answer is this. I would like to... Uh, we could have already put the fence up and had it over uh, done yesterday. But we did want to go over and help our friends yesterday and get that taken care of. However, I'm waiting on Uncle David to pull the wire on the fence. Uncle David is going to be assisting us on Wednesday on doing that. I myself have never pulled wire on a fence. And he told me that it would be a very big shame for me to build such a nice fence with the post and then not get the wire tight. And he said that I'm probably not going to be able to get it tight pulling it by hand. I need some more oomph. Well, he said, he said it's not, uh, we got to get a, like a come along. And he has a... Uh, What's the, a, a jig? He's gonna make a jig out of some wood and stuff like that. There's a whole, th there's a whole thing, like putting up fences. A whole thing, like not how we tried to do in, in Florida when we put up our dog fence. Remember how it was like it wasn't tight, right? And the reason it wasn't tight is because we didn't use a jig and have like a come along or use a vehicle or or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it should be done this week, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, there's actually a step that I forgot about. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to be taking some cedar logs because I've been using cedar for everything else. I'm going to be taking some cedar logs and making some, uh, what do you call it, an H brace. Basically, uh, where the two logs are side by side, I'm going to be sticking one in between them, uh, creating an H right there. And then also on the corner post, I'm going to be uh, cutting some and, and putting them at a diagonal to also help brace that up. 
so that's the plan i'm going to be doing that uh sometime maybe today or tomorrow also we will be um oh what you see oh check this out Big boy, <laughs> I heard you over here. I heard you over here. Well, good morning. Good morning. Don't, don't pee on the tire. Come on. Don't pee on my tire. <laughs> Come on, Halo Balo. What you out doing today? Just catching a little ride? Uh, you know, I've come to say hi to y'all. True. I was, uh, I just filmed a keeping it real. Okay. Hanging out with all my yard animals. You know, Domino, Coco, Eclipse. How are the baby goats? They're so beautiful. Are they, do they have names yet? No, I'm not naming them. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you're getting Yeah, cured. they're going to Country Road Cure and Simple Life Reclaim. Yep. Um, I'm going to suggest Thunder and Stormy, because oh, they was born in the rain. Uh, those are good names. I like you know that. what I mean? I like so, that. Uh, I don't know, but that's up to them. True that. Well, I tell you what, I do like that uh, that sweatshirt you're wearing right there. Look at you that. Like that. Come on. Look at that. Come on, homesteading new brand shirt. Show right them the back, boy. See how Ooh. I blended in those mountains with that blue. Oh, that's clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. Speaking of which, I actually just created a youth line on Bonfire as well for all the kids. Man. Yeah. Guys, you can now get your Come On Homesteading merchandise youth line yep check them out come on homesteading.com right uh, that would that be the link on no, the well, it's on, uh, it's on bonfire a, it's on bonfire but if you go to my description or my about page on any of my channels it's in there nice so yep it's nice a lot of people has gotten it already and uh i ordered this to check the quality and stuff to make sure it's nice really really nice thick nice sweatshirts t-shirts tank tops there's a women's line um there's a, a guys line and also a youth line now. So, and we're about to start doing the shirt of the month. And, uh, I'm actually working on a design right now. The first shirt of the month is going to be Coco the Yard Goat. Oh, I like that. Yep. I like that. So, working on that right now. You can hear my ladies up there laying me some eggs right now. Cock a doo -da -doo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Making me some groceries. And uh, yeah, it's so it's so funny that uh, you know now that Eclipse ain't in the goat pen because of the babies, uh, just for safety reasons, um, I bring her out of the cabin at night and let her kind of patrol the lean tos right there. Coco comes and visits Eclipse and hangs out with Eclipse uh, because Coco misses Eclipse. Uh, right, right. And uh, on the keeping it real today, uh, Coco come up and hung out and. Wanted to hang out with Eclipse, seeing Eclipse up there getting some attention, and Coco was like, I want some of that. I like that. Aww. So I had Coco, Domino, Midnight, and Eclipse all in the same spot hanging out. So <laughs> it was cool. All, all, my yard, all my yard animals were hanging out with me this morning. I like that. Cool. That was cool. We're actually about to uh, pull this tree down that's right here. It's a pretty dangerous tree. It's broken in half. And it's right in the area that Lisa and I like to come and sit and do our little meditation. And stuff you want to like show that. something? Right? Y'all want a sneak peek? You guys want a sneak peek? I'll show you what I'm working on today. I started on it the other day. Ooh. It's just right here at the gate. Ooh, let's check it out. Halo Bela, you get a longer walk. Well, we're not on our e-bikes. We'll give Odin a longer walk this afternoon. Yeah. This is one fine machine right here. Well, I normally walk them down to the creek anyway. Don't pee on my tire. I know. <laughs> well, here you have it. What? Started clearing out the fence line for the goats. That's what Ooh. me and Uber's going to be working on today. Man. Y'all probably didn't even notice this when y'all was driving in. Huh? I was looking for it, <laughs> and I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm actually going to clear this little bit out right here. I'm probably going to come off their fence line a little bit. It's my fence line. That's the actual line, but I'm going to give a little bit of space just for fence maintenance. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, I'm going to clear out this. Then we're going to go up beside the pond, go up the hill, go down, and come all the way down. Uh, it's about two acres. This okay. Be the goat enclosure. 
I like that. That's nice. That's a good, that's a nice area. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I figured I better get it now before spring springs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, uh, It'll be thick. It's gonna get thick in there. And look, and you already see these uh, these briars right here. Yeah. These green briars. They're already coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. Yeah, a gloomy, very nice, beautiful morning, huh? Yeah. yeah. Almost sounded like an oxymoron, but mm. the weather's nice. Well, speaking of work, I'm ready to pull a tree down. Get her down. I'm going to use uh, your chain, actually, and then as soon as I'm done with it, I plan on bringing it right back to you. Nice, yes, because we got to take Uber to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, look at that. Look at that. Mock wheel, boy, sitting there looking mm. all majestic, boy. Looking machine right there, mm. boy. Yeah, I like that mock wheel. There's a first on a lot of things for me that I've seen for the e-bikes, especially that little, uh, that cool bag in the back right back there. That's awesome. That's a, that's a YouTuber's dream right that's there, huh? <laughs> also, you were the first ones that I seen with, uh, mirrors. Yeah. Although yesterday I did see our friend uh, Mike, a.k.a. Dog Man, okay. over at Junk the Gems, and he pulled up on his e-bike, and he had some mirrors also. Nice. But does he have that no butt at all seat? Mm, I guarantee you he ain't got that, that right upgraded there. upgraded with the suspension underneath. Mm, sexy seat. Sexy. Yeah. yeah. And I bet you he don't have a trailer to go with his to pull around his dogs, ain't, Dog Man. Ain't nobody got a trailer yet. What? That's that's come on exclusive right yeah. there. Where'd Lissa go? But yeah. you know I've been waiting a long time. I was very patient as far as which one I got because I wanted something particular. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, speaking of. He's so cute. He, he came running down the hill through the woods right here. He's <laughs> supposed to be in the house. Ooh, Domino, you're in trouble. What are you doing, young man? Your trailer is not hooked up. You know you're not supposed to be down here. I put you in the house for a reason so you didn't follow me. Domino. Domino, I can't believe you. I can't believe you. Okay, Domino, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hello. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go put you back up so Odin can quit screaming. Lissa. If you listen off into the distance, you can still hear Odin oh, whining. Know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Domino, go on. Go home. Yeah, Domino's going to take the shortcut. Halo, this way. <laughs> oh, I don't know if they can see it. Y'all see the butterfly? Ah, that's the first butterfly that I've seen on the mountain. Look at these flowers. Oh, and another butterfly as soon as I come over here. Halo, don't eat the flowers. Halo, Balo. Look. Domino, go home. Yeah. Look at Halo Balo. Look at Haley's blue eyes. Halo Balo. Halo. Halo. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home so that we can come back over here and pull this tree down. I'm ready to do that. He's a handsome boy. Oh my lord. Oh, Odin. Odin. <laughs> and don't forget guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, Dreaming with Drifters, this is our new vlog channel and if you're new here thank you so much for coming over and subscribing and viewing our channel 
Uh, this is our side channel. We have another channel called Drifting Dreamers 5, if you're not aware. Uh, and Drifting Dreamers 5 is where the majority of our homesteading takes place, the majority of our life taking place, better, uh, more edited, action-packed videos. These videos are straight vlogs, not edited. We are recording this live. and On this channel. On this channel, on Dreaming with Drifters. We are recording this live. And uh, we just upload it right to YouTube after this. Now, every now and then, from time to time, I will make a mistake and accidentally, instead of hitting the pause button, I'll hit the stop button. And if we stop it, then we have to put it in our editing software and then put it together. I hear Uncle David coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> What's going on? Nice to see you today. So I got a, I got, a, I had a, a whew, I had a epiphany. I got a winch. We can pull it down with the four wheeler. True that. Nice. I like that. That was a good idea. We're uh, we're gonna go put up Halo real quick, and we'll be right back. Well, let's go. Excuse me. Yeah, Halo is a good boy. He he doesn't typically walk in the mud. Well, he that's also nice. He doesn't pull mommy so much. Yeah. Halo has gotten a lot better with walking since we started using the 16 foot leash. Oops. Hey, can you hold on to the camera? Sorry, guys. I'm shaking you up like a salt shaker. I shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt <laughs> Man, it's been a long time since I've heard that song. <laughs> It's a classic though, right guys? It's a classic. <laughs> so we're gonna get up here, like I just said. Put, we're gonna cut this tree down. Woo! Look at the mangles. You know what? This is uh, a really awesome selfie stick. I wanna say thank you so much uh, to the subscriber who sent us this selfie stick. This thing is awesome. Like a bigger boy. No, let's go that way. Odin said, what about me? Odin got his walk first. <laughs> Odin, I love you. Oh, Odin. Odin. You don't love me, Odin, boy? <laughs> no. I seen it. I made sure not to run it over. <laughs> the first flower is officially bloomed. On Dreamer's Landing. I tell you what, boy, it must be rough having this beautiful view back here. Oh man. Tell you what, a cow came up to the fence to try to make friends with Halo this morning. <laughs> I love it when the field is all green and oh, yeah. got fiber. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll be right back. We're gonna go down there. We're going to hook up the, the four-wheeler. We're going to use the winch, hook it up to the tree, pull the choker down. We'll be right back. That was one of the biggest problems we had. This is some behind-the-scenes footage. Here. We so got Uncle David escape. down here talking to us about the about the fence, getting the, getting the towel twos. I was telling you guys earlier how it's going to be Wednesday before we work on the fence, and we're down here pre-planning already. It's pretty, it came it's out, a game plan, it, not a set plan. It came out pretty good, though, huh? I like it. I really, really like the double gate. Um, idea, especially with the kids and stuff like that, bringing mm -hmm. the dogs in and out. Just another layer of security to keep the farm animals around here safe. Right. right. We have a bunch more farm animals, so you right, know. yeah, coming. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys missed it, fact, there's more coming tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys missed it, the reason we have uh, these four poles sitting here like this is we're going to have a double gate when you walk up on it. the The first gate being on the outside is going to open up towards you outside. And then the idea of that is to be able to come in, shut the gate behind you, and then open this gate to the inside to be able to come in here to see the dogs and everything. And whenever you're able to take the dogs out or bring them back inside, it's the same way. We can get to this gate. It's going to open out. You walk on up. Plenty of room to turn around. Shut the gate. There's plenty of room in here for the dog to be in here with you. 
open this gate, go right back outside, and we'll be right back on it, huh? Yep. All right, you ready to take this tree down? Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. We are gonna go ahead and grab the chain and throw it in just for extra security. Let's get Come On's reaction to where I got his tractor stuck, guys. Yeah, this is uh, where Lyft got stuck right here. This is where Lyft got stuck. This wasn't Uber. Uber got stuck up there. Uber should have never got stuck. I know. It's crazy, right? He got back and then he tried to reverse and that's when he got stuck. Right. You can you can see I actually was way up there. And then I, I backed up. And when I backed up, I kind of sunk down a little bit and couldn't get back out. Well, you know, you don't have a lot of operating experience with them their tractors. Yeah. You utilize that bucket and that differential a lot. Uber will come alive. Right. <laughs> All right, let's... We could, like, even this out again, and this would be a good start to our trail. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean... There's so much more clearing that's got to happen here. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, for different areas, different things that you want. Yep. You know, I want to make all kinds of little trails. I would like to make a golf cart park trail all through Come On Mountain, the new property, like everywhere. Yeah. And just have little setting areas in the woods here or there, little gnome gardens, yeah. little yeah. just different stuff. And also artwork. One of my neighbors in Florida, even though he was a jerk, um, had pretty cool ideas he's very artistic and he would take like big old rounds of like you know cedar trees and stuff like that and like hang it in the tree and then have other ones hanging from it on chains oh, and stuff made like wind chime type things out of big cool. like pieces of wood and oh, stuff that is that's cool. cool just hanging randomly in his stuff and had golf cart trails everywhere and stuff okay. really cool stuff yeah. i want to do the same kind of thing for come on mountain yeah me too. <laughs> Let's uh, quit lollygagging and get to work. Pull that tree down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we almost lost the chain. I thought he lost the chain too. <laughs> See, eventually we'll get us one of those too. Yeah. Four-wheeler. Oh, yeah. It's so, on the list. Things to check off. On the list. <laughs> We were working it out uh, nicely in Florida. We were gathering up some toys. Yeah. We had. We still got our kayaks. We got the kayaks first. Yeah. Back on my kayak. Say what? I can't wait to get back on my kayak. Yeah. I, it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, after the kayaks, I I had a boat. I had a uh, a five foot by sixteen foot little bass tracker too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we had a lot of good times on that. Hitting the rivers, uh, pulling each other on the tube and stuff like that. Yeah. We're they here. called us river rats. The river rats. <laughs> That's where our friends uh, Travis and Brittany Whitney uh, got their YouTube channel name, River Rats Legacy. Yep. That's where they. That's how they got their name because we were all the river rats. All right, guys, we're here. Who are we taking down? This broken one right there. You see it? That one. Oh, that's easy peasy. I mean, honestly, we probably could throw something at it and knock it down. But this is so much fun. Yeah. This is going to be cool. Let's wincher. We're going to wincher. Ah! Okay, sir. Could you grab the witch? Oh! You scared me. Yeah, go go whatever direction you were just going in. I've got toys. I've got toys. But I like to call them fools. Fools. Let's uh. Man, that's crazy. You think that's enough? I want a double wrap so it doesn't slip and come back at me. All right, that should be good. 
Let me, uh, I'm going to set you guys down right here so you can be in the action. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I gotta say that because they're gonna tell me that I should have said that. Yeah. A better, a better uncle wouldn't have let me walk under that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just saying. Oh man, I'm I pulled saying. you guys right out of the tripod. <laughs> All right. My new rooster, my new I got two hens Trying to get now. you guys. All right, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Jay! tried to drop a tree on me what in the world that was holy smoke <laughs> <laughs> man mountain life mountain life <laughs> hey i thought i was out of the way nicely I but don't care what say, that was a lot harder than getting a chain <laughs> I agree. hey what because when he pulled it and it hit I'll, let me show you what i mean it, i was in a nice spot to begin with but when it hit this other this other cedar right here, my other uh, my other corner post, when it hit that, it it made the tree jump over, and and right where I was standing over here out of the way, the tree was coming down. Dang man, I can't I can't believe he tried right, to. When you unhook that, you're gonna have to hold a little pressure on it while I bring it in. Okay. Whew. Ow. I'll be right back, guys. Reeling it in, reeling it in. Yep. I do appreciate it, Unc. No problem. Okay, I'm done playing. I gotta go get to work. Back to work. Back to work. Thank you. Thank you. Jump it! Jump it! Oh, he got the wheels up. Okay. <laughs> he got the wheels up. Nice. Well, that's down. Yay! Now I can go back over there. <laughs> Thank well, you, Uncle David. <laughs> well, that'll get my heart rumping this morning. I bet. Jump out! It went from a nice chat to having to dive out of the way before a tree falls on me. <laughs> Mountain life. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go ahead and let you dreamers drift away. We're gonna wrap up our Monday. Lissa is going to be editing yesterday's video. Yep. Hopefully it'll come out sometime today, who knows. But if not, it'll be out tomorrow. Yep. I will be working on another sponsorship video today. <laughs> which is going to be bringing a little bit more power to the shouse. <laughs> saving a little bit more energy. I mean, not the shouse, but the camper. Uh, saving a little bit more energy on that gas bill. It's uh, actually something that I've had for quite some time. I just have not been able to... Uh, well, I just put them on the back burner. Should have had them a more of a priority. 
because this could have been helping us out a long time ago. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being a subscriber to Dreaming with Drifters. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, not a subscriber don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we just really appreciate you guys. We do. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. Keep on dreaming. We're going to keep on chasing ours. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.